Mo Carter. Great things are happening on the hill with the Alabama A&M softball team. In 2018, they put together one of their best seasons ever and tied for the East Division crown. This season, they exceeded expectations by winning the East and doing it with a first-year head coach. Now they're gearing up for the SWAC softball tournament. Charity Chambers shows us how they're preparing. The Alabama a and Lady Bulldogs ended the regular season on a high note, completely sweeping all core state, which also earned them the SWAC East title. But they say they aren't done yet. This week, they are gearing up for the SWAC tournament, and they say they're ready to win the whole thing. Don't cut us out. Be there. Watch us. Get the link. We're going to make history this year. I believe it. So catch us out there with the ring. Bulldog sophomore Dorian Edwards and the rest of her teammates are eyeing the SWAC championship as tournament play starts on Wednesday. Coming into the tournament with a sweep it really like gives the team the momentum and the boost of energy we need and gives us the advantage against the other teams because some teams are coming in with losses so you want to like get them while they're down. Anna's first opponent in the tournament is Arkansas Pine Bluff, a team who only has four wins on the season and are on a nine game losing streak. But head coach Cassandra Brown says they know not to count anyone out. I told the girls it doesn't matter. It's a new day, new game. Um, they also have more games, like you said, underneath their belt, just like we do. Um, and we can't take them lightly. And so we, I told the girls, you know, let's go out there and do what we know how to do and let's get the win. Junior to me, Lee Barbadillo says one of the things that may help them get the win is the fact that they have so much talent on this year's team. Last year we had a lot of POs, so pitchers that only played that position. This year all of our pitchers also start in the field, so I think diversity is key. I believe that we have about three positions in each position that can play there and play comfortably. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the Lady Bulldogs earned a one seed, so they'll be taking on Arkansas Pine Bluff, who they swept during the regular season. Now, all this is going to start on Wednesday when the SWAC tournament begins down in Montgomery. But for now, in Huntsville, I'm Charity Chambers for WCDX Sports. Thanks, Charity. First pitch for Wednesday's game is set for 6 p.m. down on the campus of Alabama State University.